Okay, let's take a look. Alright, um, I would say first thing is that there's too many camera cuts. I would say you could probably just do this whole thing with one camera, if anything. I mean, you were talking about imitating a yoga video and I don't know, most yoga videos I see actually, or a lot of yoga videos really just have the one camera point of view, but I know obviously some have multiple cameras, but the cuts aren't really justified by the action. Like it's just, it seemed like there's cuts for the sake of making cuts rather than helping tell the story. So I would just keep the camera simple. Um, let's take a look in Maya. Um, the poses are not good. So here the character does, you've literally just adjusted the one control, that is to say the arms. Absolutely nothing on the whole body has been moved. And what you want to do is adjust every control for every pose, every finger joint, every spine, neck, head, waist, at least a little, at least touch them a little bit and really craft and shape the pose and really pay attention to the details and the nuance of the position of the character. So this is just literally nothing has been adjusted except for a tiny rotation of the arm. You want to adjust the elbow, the wrist, the fingers, the waist, everything and really look at your reference and try to copy the pose. Um, you know, for example, you know, someone might, you know, when they, when they move their arms, I'll see where my, ar my manipulator is, but when they move the arms down, you know, up, they might move the body down, you know, for example. Um, but you'll, but you know, you'll want to look at the reference and see what you, you mentioned looking at some yoga videos. Look, really look at those videos, really look at all the different body parts and try to match those. Um, because right now, you know, you, you're moving just, just the rotation of the arms pretty much. And then you just do the hips. And like, for example, another good example here, why is, is your perspective view locked? Your perspective view should not be locked. You can lock your other camera, but you shouldn't lock your perspective view. So for example, here, when, so when if you, st you know, take a look at your reference, when someone bends over, look at how this whole body weight is front of his legs, especially with a cartoony character like this, where he's a very big head compared to the size of the rest of his body and his very tiny legs. You know, you have to counterbalance, you know, the, the, that's not really bending very well. I mean, it's just a difficult character with these extremely short legs, but, um, you know, you want to counterbalance the, the rest of the body with the leg. So, you know, and then maybe he has one foot forward and one foot back and, you know, just to, to kind of balance, start to balance them out and maybe, you know, this is rotated a bit up, but then this is rotated down and that's down. Um, you know, and etc. you know, and really work the pose. And so you can see how that looks to me, uh, you know, starting to look a little bit more believably balanced here than, um, what you had. But you can't just move a couple controls in the body and call it pose done. That's all I need to do. No, you have to really go through, really study your reference, adjust all the controls, really think about the body's weight and its motion and get, get all that detail in there for every single pose if you want this to look any good. Um, I'll also post a video for you on how to pick up objects and set them down.